Good afternoon and welcome to a home vlog. <laughs> Today we're going to be going through the nursery wall by wall showing you guys everything that we have for the baby's room. This is going to be like our final nursery tour before the baby comes because we are all done. Yeah, it's done. This is it. I'm sure there will be things that we add once the baby comes that yeah. we were like, oh shoot, we forgot about this thing or uh, stuff that we didn't know that we needed until he's here. Right. But as for right now, we're done. This is it. Yeah, we're excited. So let's do it. Which wall <laughs> should we start on? Well, I think we should just kind of like walk in and then start with, Okay. you know, like the natural, like the first little area. All right. That's what we'll do. And also just so you guys know, in case you were curious as to like where we got something or you want to see the link of that thing, we're going to have all of those links in the description down below. Right. Um, but we will kind of tell you like, this is from Target. This is from Amazon. This is from Etsy. But just to kind of make it easier for you guys to actually have clickable links, they'll be in the description. Yeah. As long as they're still available. Right. Yeah. So let's do it. Yeah. So we're going to start with just a quick pan around the room to give you guys a general idea of what everything looks like together. But as many of you know, we did a water, beach, kind of ocean, marine life <laughs> themed room. And it's just being native Floridians, I think that it was just kind of like a peaceful, sort of like calming theme. And I really like the way it turned out. I definitely feel at ease being in this room. It's very relaxing, which was really just kind of what I wanted as the overall feeling. So the first little thing that we have on the door is this piece of wallpaper that we got from Loomwell. And the idea was to do an entire wall with this when we first started planning out the nursery. But after we kind of got into it, we decided to go away from that. So we are going to frame this. We haven't framed it yet because I think we're going to add his name to the bottom of the frame and make this as a little piece of art, kind of as a tribute to the idea that we started with with this nursery. The first wall that you come to is this entryway wall and we have a little plant. This is a fake plant. We got this one from Amazon. It's a snake plant and we liked it because it kind of looked like seaweed, which went along with our theme. And this wicker plant stand is from Amazon and we just liked it because it kind of looked like sort of beachy. And then we got this little picture and picture frame from Target. It says, say yes to new adventures. And it's got a little world map behind it. and we. Just just thought that was really fun because this is our new adventure so yeah it was just a nice little entryway a nice a nice way to enter the room over on this wall we have his crib the crib is from target and then the bed skirt the sheet and the blanket are all from a company called lamb and ivy on amazon as well as the mobile and they all match they're all part of a little set and then as we work our way up we come to a picture here that says dream big little one and this is from pottery barn and this is completely screwed to the wall and the frame is completely plastic. There is no glass involved. And then right on top, we have his baby monitor, which is from a company called Oofy, which is a completely encrypted baby monitor. So there's no chance of anybody trying to spy in on us. <laughs> we also like that it had the option for a wide angle lens as well to get a better view. And working our way back down into his crib, we have a little jelly cat plush octopus here. And this was the very first jelly cat plush that we bought. And that led us on our mission of buying more and more jelly cats because they're so darn soft and we found this one at sugar booze in disney springs the next wall we come to the shelf that tim made and we'll link that video in the description down below if you guys want to see how he made that but we just thought it was a cool like nautical touch to add to the room with the little dock cleats and then we also have the paddle that we got from the boathouse which says and so the adventure begins we also have a couple of fake candles up here that we got from amazon just to add another kind of like warm light to the room and next we have this light projector that we bought on Amazon as well and this just kind of makes it look like there are waves on the ceiling and we thought this might be a good thing to have for when we're doing diaper changes or just at nighttime in general just to kind of give it that blue hue and then we head down the wall and this is our diaper pail from Ubi we got this one on Amazon hopefully this will keep the uh, smelly diapers at bay I don't know we'll see <laughs> and that leads us over to the big dresser and the changing station on top so this dresser is part of the set from Target and we'll, again we'll have all all of these linked in the description down below and then on top here we have the changing pad the cover the protective waterproof cover this is all from amazon and then we move over to the wipe warmer which we also bought on amazon but i think this is something you could probably get at target too and the diaper station so we've got our diapers and a little bit of the diaper rash cream and then we're going to look in some of the drawers where we keep our excess diapers we've got a few different brands in there a couple different sizes 
And the second drawer we have here just has some like sheets and just some cute little, actually we got some of these from a company called Milk Snob and they're just kind of like protective covers. You can use them for breastfeeding, changing, for swaddling. They kind of are like multi-purpose, but lots of Disney character stuff. So we thought that was really cute. The bottom drawer just has some extra bags for the trash can. And all of these things are just kind of here temporarily because we don't really know the best spot for these things until the baby comes. But this is where they live right now. And in this drawer, we just have some more wipes and some diaper cream. In this drawer we have some nursing pads, baby's beach hat, maternity kit which has some like essential oils and different things like that. And then we've also got a wet bag in there. And then the last drawer is empty because we still are not sure where everything is going, but I'm sure it will be full of something soon. And over here, I wanted to start out with the rug. We got this rug at Target and we liked it because it kind of has a wave feel to it and it tied in the nautical theme really well and it is super soft. One of the softest rugs I've ever felt in my life. And that leads us to the poof, which we bought on Amazon and it is made of rope and it ties in the nautical theme really well. And then we have our rocker, which Jen's gonna be using a lot. So this was one of our splurge items that we got from Pottery Barn Kids, super comfortable. And on it, we have another jelly cat that we got from the Four Seasons gift shop this one looks like a little cloud he's a little happy cloud and next to that we have a little blue heart that we found at target very similar in feel to the jelly cat but the jelly cat's just a little bit softer and then we head up to another piece of artwork that we got from pottery barn kids which kind of like a watercolor whale painting type thing again plastic no glass and it's secured very well to the wall and next to that we have some macrame yarn art that we got from etsy and we'll put a link to that in the description down below and then on the side of the big dresser we have hanging a diaper stacker that came with the sheet and quilt set that we have on the crib right now i don't know how much we're going to be using this but i do know that everybody on the internet says that you need to have one of these and we weren't planning on buying one but it did come with the sheet set so maybe we'll end up using it and over here to the right we have a little side table that we got from target and this one has some driftwood on the bottom to really tie in the beach theme and on top of that we have another jelly cat that's a little jelly cat whale as you guys can tell we kind of really love the idea of these jelly cats they're so soft and then the little remote there that's on the table is just the receiver for our baby monitor and in the last nursery video we got a few comments about the blind cord issue and we just wanted to show you guys that these blinds do not have any cords you just have to lift up on them or pull down on them to raise or lower them so this little corner of the nursery is my favorite part of the room by far. I love this nursing glider. It is so super comfortable. And like Tim said, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time here, but it's just, I feel like the most calm and relaxing part of the room. I just, I can just picture myself sitting here for hours and like being totally okay with it. And I'm sure that I will be sitting here for hours. <laughs> um, but I just, this, I love this little corner of the room. So I had to share that, it's my favorite part. And moving over from there, we come to the next wall that has this really cool porthole mirror that we found on Amazon. We really, really like the detail of that. It just kind of gave it a cool look. And then we have the small dresser on this wall, which is from that same set from Target that the crib and the large dresser is from. And this has the anchor lamp that we also found at Target. We found a lot of stuff at Target, but this has a cool rope detail with the anchor. So we liked how that tied the whole nautical theme all together. Yeah, tied. <laughs> and then we have this fun little Mickey photo frame that we got on our uh, Disney cruise. So we had to put that in the room. It just made so much sense. There's no photo in it yet, but I feel like we're going to put a picture of Bandit in there. And then we have our noise machine, which we found on Amazon. And then we have this cute little boat storage bin that we found at Pottery Barn Kids. We probably paid too much for this one, but it just looked really cute with the room. So we had to get it. And inside of that, there's another little jelly cat. This one's a turtle. And we found this one at Sugar Boo's in Disney Springs with the octopus. And then in the first drawer of the little dresser, we have the muslins and some blankets and some boppy covers, just little things like that. The second drawer is lots of onesies. And these are all of the newborn and zero to three month onesies. The, the bottom drawer is empty right now, <laughs> so. And then to the right of the dresser, we have this little bag that we got from our friends, Jim and Nicole. And I think we're gonna end up using this as just a little laundry hamper, but I loved the anchor detail, super cute. And this whole wall is basically the closet for the room. So he's got two full closets. This one has all of his clothes. These are most of the clothes that he's not going to fit into quite yet. It's a lot of the like three to six 
to 12 to 18 month clothes, but you've seen most of these in some haul videos. So I'm actually gonna link those in the description if you want to see them kind of like close up. Um, but you've probably seen most of them already. But the only thing that's in here that we probably haven't shown before is gonna be his boppy. So he does have a boppy up there. And on the same wall as his closet, we have his little bookshelf that looks like a boat that we got from Etsy. And this is screwed to the wall. And on his bookshelf, we just have a bunch of plushies that we've gotten from the theme parks. And then of course, his books. So in the last home vlog, we asked you guys what books we should get for him. And via your suggestions, we've started collecting our library of books for him. There are more coming, but this is definitely a good start. Thank you guys so much for all of your wonderful suggestions. And on the ceiling, we just wanted to show you guys our cool little beachy themed light. Got some nice rope detail on it and it's kind of weathered too. This was the original concept. Instead of having pure white for all the dressers, I was thinking we would go with this weathered white. I'm glad we went with the pure white everywhere other than the light on the ceiling. So there you have it. That was our nursery tour. Uh, I love this room. Yeah, this is the completed nursery tour. You guys have seen us start the room and now it's done. Yeah. Yeah, so before this was kind of like a beigey, kind of a sad room. Sad room. Yeah, it wasn't very <laughs> exciting. And, and now, oh, we should also tell you guys the paint color, right? I have no idea what the paint color is. Uh, I do. It was like... It was like... Slumber... S slumber party. Slumber... I don't know. It was... We'll, we'll link that in the description down below because a few of you guys did ask what color this was. Yeah. And um, I don't know if you're getting the true color. Pretty close to it. Yeah. But I will say it's just really a calm... This room is just so calming. Yeah, it's nice. It feels like we're at the beach in here. Yeah, it does. And it's nice. And this is the only room of our house that's fully decorated. Right. So this was like a fun project to kind of start with. And hopefully someday we'll have time to decorate the rest of our house. Right. But um, but I do. I love the way this room turned out. I can't wait to spend time in this room. And I know... Sleepless nights. <laughs> I know that when the baby comes, we won't necessarily be spending a whole lot of time in this room. Right, we'll be in. He'll be in the bassinet in the other room. Yeah, and not for long though. Like he'll be in this room eventually, but um, I don't know. I'm just so excited. Yeah, and so just to give you guys a timeline, we have another specialist appointment, and that's when we find out if we have to do the C-section or if we're going to do natural birth. Right. And I did get a few comments on Instagram that um, were kind of telling me why I shouldn't do a C-section and or why I should or vice versa. I just wanted to make it kind of clear. I don't have a choice. Right. Um, with the health stuff that we're dealing with, I think the C-section may be the only option. And so I, I really won't have a choice as far as like health wise. So we're going to know for sure in the next couple of weeks. And we'll give you guys more of an update when we know. Yeah. Um, but if we have to schedule the C-section, yeah, we'll know. We'll know his birth. Like, yeah. Date. Like we'll know exactly when it's going to happen. If not, we're just kind of, we'll wait. Yeah. Until he's ready to come out. And see what happens. Yeah, so um, I don't know. It's coming up very soon. Very soon. I'm yeah. very yeah. I'm I'm super excited and um, I'm really happy to share this room with you guys. Though this was something that we worked really hard on, and it took us a while. Yeah. To complete oh, yeah. <laughs> or to feel like we completed it, you know. Yeah, and I feel like it's it's done. Like this is it. This yeah. is as I don't. There's nothing else that I can think of that I'm like, oh, we should add this or add that. This is it. This I, is the nursery. I think we probably could have added more things. There I, is also like a fan that we're using in our room right now. Cause oh, yeah. We bought for him. That's going to end up in here. Yeah. But right now we're just using it because otherwise uh, it would just be sitting in here. I'll link the fan in the description down below for you guys, though, if you want to see what it is. It's like the Dyson. Yeah, it's the Dyson purifier tower. The like oval. Yeah. But it's yeah. a purifier as well as a fan. And that's why we bought it. Just mm -hmm. to kind of, I don't know, keep everything nice and clean and good for the baby. Yeah. Um, but I'm just very excited. Do you have like a favorite part of the room? I told you guys my favorite part, which is the, the nursing glider, but do you yeah. have like a favorite part? I think I like the crib part. Do you? Yeah. So when we first started picking out the, uh, furniture for the room, we started looking at Pottery Barn because mm -hmm. we thought like we want to get the best, you know, like the most, I don't know, whatever all of the people said on the internet, like what you should get. And everything that we looked at was, we wouldn't have gotten it in time. Right. Or, like it would have come right before he was born or right after he was born. And I'm really happy that we went with the Target stuff. Yeah. I think it's And really... this is also very higher, highly rated. Yeah. Too. 
But it was like less than half the price. Yeah, this is all the Da Vinci stuff. And also this is a four in one convertible too. So once oh, yeah. he grows out of the crib, then we can turn it into a toddler bed. Mm -hmm. We can turn it into a full size twin bed. Yeah, so I'm excited it'll grow with him, which is very exciting. And that kind of is cool to think about like how this room will sort of evolve with him. Yeah. It'll be totally different. So we just wanted to say thank you guys for going on this journey with us as we started the nursery and now we're done with the nursery. And I'm going to link all of the nursery videos that we've done in the description down below. So if you haven't seen them, you can kind of watch the progression of the work that we've done. But I think it just feels really good to, to do it yourself. Yeah. And I think it was really fun to do it with you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I enjoyed doing it with you too. <laughs> it was just like... Maybe the painting part wasn't fun, but... Painting is never fun. No, but everything else, it was just really like a nice experience to kind of like pick it out together and see, you know, like if our styles like meshed and... I think they did. I, I think, think we so. did it. Yeah. I love this room. So yeah. I'm excited, but thank you guys for watching and we hope you enjoyed our completed nursery tour. Yeah. And so with that being said, we are off and we'll, we'll see, see you guys, guys tomorrow. tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.